Hi, Bojana here from BIM Object Germany. Welcome to this introduction of window and shutter products from the manufacturer Bayer. This consists of vertical sliding window and the sliding shutter systems, which are now available on BIMobject.com or as I am doing here via our integrated BIM Object application for Archicad. The product pages are organized by manual and motorized sliding shutters and one for the vertical sliding window. So let's take a look at the product page of the sliding shutters. Here you will find a short product presentation with product images, a description text and for more information about a particular product you can click on the links tab and view links to manufacturer specific data from the buyer homepage. Related information and industry standards can be found under the tab classification. In the download menu, you can simply select and download the Archicad GSM file through our application and this is automatically placed into your project file. Secondly, to use the files as intended, you must also download the Bayer Micro Library, which contains the control of these products. Let's go back to our current project file where I have already downloaded the Bayer products. I will place the sliding shutters on these windows here. First, change the view to ground floor and open the object default settings. Here you will find the buyer sliding shutters. For our double leaf window, we will choose the symmetric double leaf sliding shutter. Here, in the user interface of the product, you will find a 2D representation of the sliding shutter and you can choose the lower rail guide and the blind type. For the blind types, you can configure the colors of the cover top fitting, the blind frame and the blinds themselves. These products are available in RAL colors. In the next step of the user interface, you will find the detailed product information and a note to contact the manufacturer for other dimensions. The last step includes links back to the BIM object portal and direct links to the manufacturer. So once our configuration is ready, simply press OK and place the sliding shutter. Use the hotspots to change the length of the sliding shutter until it fits to your window size. The dashed lines visualize the maximum opening size of the product. Here, in the 3D perspective, we can use the hotspots to open the shutter when open. You can view and select the hotspots for the opening size definition. Now, you can adjust the height and the size of the opening to your window size. For the sliding shutters, three different types are available. Single leaf sliding shutter, double leaf symmetrical and telescopic, which you can see here attached to the balcony door of the house. Now I will go back to our app to view the product page of the vertical sliding window, which we will place on a new stand kiosk in our current project. To the product page we have product images here to reference and information. We again select and download the Archicad file. If you have already downloaded the macro library, you need only to simply download the buyer sliding window GSM file. Back in our project file, change as before the view to ground floor and select the window settings. Within the user interface of the vertical sliding window, you can choose between motorized or manual operation type, the opening height and the handle type. Within the user interface, you can also choose RAL colors for the frame and leaf of the product. After this is done, simply press OK to confirm the changes and place the sliding window. Again, use the hotspots to modify the length. So after the placement is done, we can simply open the window in the 3D view by using again the hotspots. The bio windows and sliding shutters have configuration within their parameters for minimum and maximum constraints. They have been developed in three level of details 1 to 10, 1 to 50 and 1 to 100. These objects are available now on bimobject.com. Thanks for watching.